Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 3 March 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Irma Fenter reveals that the Gau Train Management Agency has started the process to appoint a new concessionaire. The Gau Train Management Agency is ready to go to market with the tender for the reconcessioning of the 80 km rapid rail system. The Engineering News features focus on steel, where a local company supplied steel for the first ever Cape Town EPRI. Capital Equipment in Construction, where a skills study shows the need for industry funding and support. And Cranes and Hoists, where a bespoke crane will facilitate helicopter crew training at UJ. The Mining Weekly features focus on gold, where a Ghana-based miner soars past hurdles and aims to expand in 2023. And Environmental Protection, where the International Council on Mining and Metals works towards nature-positive mining. This week's business leader is Carlo Bolzanello, the country leader of cybersecurity solutions provider Trellix South Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, even without the early departure of Andre de Reta, the ESCOM board would have always struggled to find a permanent replacement before the end of March. What is clear from that explosive ENCA interview, though, is that it's going to take a very courageous or a very naive person to take up the position. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Enjoy the read and see you next time.